Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi taala wabarakatuh. So this is the first video of lecture two. In this video, we will cover the last two part of subtopic two point one. So the last two part or the last learning outcomes for subtopic two point one are state the limitation of Bohr's atomic model and state the dual nature of electron using the Broglie's postulate and Heisenberg's uncertainty principle. So Bohr's theory was quite successful in explaining the stability of an atom and the line spectrum of hydrogen. However, several weaknesses were observed, which are it can only explain the hydrogen spectrum or any spectrum of ions that contains only one electron, such as helium ion and lithium ion. Electrons are restricted to orbit of the nucleus at a certain fixed distances. It also can explain the dual nature of electron. And it also can explain for the extra lines that form in the hydrogen spectrum. So two important developments which contribute significantly in the formulation of the new model were the Broglie postulate and also Heisenberg uncertainty principle. The first, which is the de Broglie's postulate. So in 1924, Louis de Broglie stated that particles such as electrons will possess dual nature, which are both the wave and particle properties. So the relationship of wave energy and matter is represented by the Einstein's equation. So E equals to mc squared. So this is the equation that relates the energy of particle. And the radiation energy is E equals to H mu. So this is the, this is the equation that relates with the energy of wave. So the combination of the two equations will give rise to the final wave equation of the de Broglie, which is lambda equals to H over mc. So this is the final wave equation of the de Broglie's postulate, where lambda equals the wavelength of the moving particle, H is the Planck constant, M is the mass of particles, and V is the velocity of the moving particles. So next, let's go through the Heisenberg uncertainty principle. So Heisenberg uncertainty principle state that it is impossible to know simultaneously both the momentum and the position of a moving particle with certainty. So he come up with this equation. So we have delta x times delta mv greater or equal to h over 4 pi. So well, delta x is the uncertainty in position. Delta mv equals to uncertainty in momentum. H is the Planck constant. M is the mass of the particles. V is the velocity of moving particle. So in simpler words, we can only calculate the probability of finding an electron in a certain position at certain time, since the electron is always moving in an atom. So this actually violate Bohr first postulate, which states that the electron moves around the nucleus at a certain distance and has a fixed position in an atom. So the region in space which there is a high probability of finding an electron in an atom or a molecule is known as an orbital. So this uncertainty principle gives rise to a new study which is the quantum mechanics that we will learn in the next video.